Welcome back to Mango Plays Ridgeside Village. And um, let's say hello to little Sam. Hello, how you doing, lovely? You all right? Okay, we also have coffee, hugs, all the good stuff to do. Honey, could you help me with my tie? I'm tying myself, but your knots are so much better than mine. I guess I'm a little out of practice. Don't have the occasion to dress up that much nowadays. Other than for you, of course. I hope you're excited for the dance, honey. I am. I completely forgot. We've got the flower dance today. Which, you know, always grand. Ah, yes. I need to remember to leave before I do my chores. Hey, farmer. I was just in the neighborhood and thought, who's likely forgotten about the talent show? Ha 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 ha. Ah, Juliet, you know me so well. Oh, that's totes okay. I know every day is the same in Farmerland. So, anywho, the talent shows this afternoon in the community center. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to that instead of the spring dance. And you don't want to miss out on the fun. It's going to be a riot of the good kind, not the destructive kind. I hope. Awesome. I can't wait for the riot. Anyways, gotta go. See you this afternoon. So this afternoon in the community center. Okay. Um. Uh, community center. Right. There we go. We've got a reminder. And that means we're not going to the flower dance. Bit of a shame. But hey, we've been to the flower dance so many times. Like, it's... Yeah. Hello, Aideen. How you doing? Baron Munchington has proven a fine judge of character, Mango. Although I worry sometimes that his opinion is all too frequently swayed by his appetite. Uh, that would be correct, Aideen. But, you know, it's all good, don't you worry. Right, I'm going to drop off my seeds. I've got to remember to pick them back up, of course. Uh, fruit. We are running star fruit through, and then I'm going to grab everything else we are currently processing. Okay, right, uh, let's do our chores. All right, there we go. We've got some goods to sell, and any... No, no basalt. We should tell Sterling that I'm not going to the spring fling. I feel kind of guilty that we're going to just sort of stand them up, and they're going to feel like I stood them up because... That we didn't dance together in the first year. And that feels sad for me. Right, what have we got here? We've got wonderful animals. They're doing good. Yeah? How you doing, lovelies? Flower dance has begun. Ooh, okay. We've got some kale. We've got garlic ready. but And parsnips, which is pretty awesome. Let's have a look at what we can plant. Um, We have left... Uh, garlic and parsnip. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, let's grab that from the seeds then. And also grab the fiber seeds. Um, I will grab that in a sec. Garlic or parsnips. Let's do parsnips. And fiber seeds. Hopefully we'll get a level up. Although I've got a feeling we won't right now. No, not close. But hey, shame you don't get XP for planting. A okay, cauliflower in a day, chilip in a day, kale in a day. So tomorrow we've got some good stuff. And then I guess I'm just gonna here right now or down here. Yeah, down here. We're just gonna plant our fiber seeds. Okay, that is all of them, basically, nearly, kind of, but uh, we have completely filled this area out with fiber, which is pretty grand. Okay, you have a quest. What would you like? Five of those. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, frozen tears. And drop that in. Lovely. Okay, what should we do? We're going to the community centre in a sec. It is a lucky day. Oh, we've got to get our tea. I also should buy a grabber as soon as we're level 10. Probably going to buy about four grabbers from Marnie. Just so like I can do stuff like um, pop a grabber on the farm. There is other places where we're putting tea bushes. Uh, community center. Yep, I'm just going to the quarry first. Lovely. I'm always tempted to sell these oak resins. I don't know though. I mean, we're going to get another barn. And I'm pretty sure. 
I mean, let's have a look here. We've got like 106 Oak Crescent. I mean, maybe we wait until we get the increased sale value for Oak Crescent. That might be a good idea. Uh, but let's grab you two and you and do a little bit of crafting. Machinery. There we go. Two heavy tappers. Pop you on there. There we go. Not doing too bad. Right. Community center. And I guess we just enter. Right? Hi, Mr. Ginger. I love living with Jazz, but she's going up. Soon won't need me anymore. And I'm not sure what I'll do. Jazz will always need her kitty cat. Like, there is no two ways about it. You're here! Yes, I am! About time the crowd is starting to get restless. I can't wait to see this. This is going to be either a grand success or spectacular failure. I haven't decided yet. I love it. Everyone's kind of in their spring. It's almost like they came from the spring fling. What's it called? Spring festival. Flower dance. That's it. It's like they came from the flower dance. Which I would have loved to have done, but if I had gone to flower dance, I would have been kicked out at 10 p.m. So that's why I didn't. Um, it's going to be fantastic, George. You've got food, you've got band, we've got the aquarium to keep the kids happy, Marty and Marlon are standing together. It's all amazing. Well, who cares? Either way, I'll definitely be interesting. It'll definitely be in interesting. And you, come on, let's get this show on the road. Please be patient while we set things up. I will be patient. <gasps> Oh, can I go talk to Marlon and Marnie? Hey everyone, welcome to Pelican Town's first ever talent show. No judges, no judges even, no prizes, just heaps of fun. No prizes? Lame. Oh, and free food, courtesy of Gus and Evelyn. <gasps> well done, thanks Evelyn. But you guys didn't come to listen to me talk, so let's begin. Clint, you're up first. Aww. Woo, Clint! Oh, Emily. Okay, get on with it. <laughs> oh, you did magic tricks. I love it. Oh, the bunny's so cute. I'll keep you safe, bunny. Yeah, you will, Jazz. Impressive. I'm sure. <laughs> Next up, a poem from Mr. Marvelous Hair himself. Elliot. Mr. Marvelous Hair. Oh. Oh, I love it. Good afternoon, gentlemen and gentlewomen. Today I shall read you my romantic poem. I'm wondering if this is um, the Clint and Emily sort of like um, Emily being really supportive and whatnot. It's because I have um... oh I forgot the mod's name. I'm so sorry. It's the mod that has allowed us to have um, Haley and Leah as a couple, Clint and Emily as a couple, and many more. If you want to actually vote on uh, couples and whatnot, keep an eye on my community tab. I, When I'm ready to add a new couple, I'll put a poll up. But yeah, I'm wondering if that's sort of like, this is reflective of that. But yeah, let's read the romantic poem. It's called The Gift. Oh, From the brightest winter star to a fragrant fairy rose. Oh, Marnie loves it. <laughs> and now that I've found her, I will remain with her until the end of time, forever. Oh, how sweet. Oh, you're done. That was, um, very poetic. Oh, did everyone fall asleep? <sighs> oh, yeah. Come on, Clint. Cheer her on. Ah, oh, Vincent's even getting in on the action. I love it. <gasps> Vince, what kind of tree fits in your hand? A palm tree. Way. <laughs> That's my boy. Yeah, it is. I like Kemp being proud. For although their love was true, it was not enough to keep her from the place she loved. The woman from the sea gave a sorrowful smile, turned and walked into the waves. She never looked back. Yet still the fisherman, now with hair turned grey, waits for her on the wharf, waits for her return. Aww. Is it true? Or is this Willie's story that I was like, why, why can I not hear it? We only got half of it, no. Now for our final act of the evening, presenting. Hey everyone, we're Xenon Goblin, and we're delighted to be playing Pelican Town. But none of us would be here if it wasn't for Juliet. Come up here, Jules. Yeah, Jules. Go on, girl. 
Oh. Speech! Yeah! Nah. None of you want to listen to me. Not when Xenon and Goblin are in the house. Go on. What we got to, what we're we gonna hear? This song's for you, Jules. Let's rock! Come on, Jules, get down! Give it a bit of a boogie. I think that went pretty good, right? I do too. I would have loved to have known Marlin's um, uh, talent. I really wanted like Marlin to read a poem and Marnie to be all teary. It's a lot of work, so I'm not expecting it. But wouldn't it be really cool if like every year Jules had a talent show and we get like different people? talents so like t today we saw we see Elliot and Emily and Clint um and it'd be great if like next time we got um <sighs> Leah maybe although Leah got up, up on Emily's one but, you know Leah Haley, um Marlon the wizard you know so it's be cool like um because it would be slightly different every year um what now it is 2.40. It is a lucky day. I wonder if it's too late to go to the Spring Festival. Uh, the Flower Dance. I don't know why I keep calling it the Spring Festival. To me, it is the Spring Festival. No. No. Okay. Ah, I was too late. Everyone came from the Spring spring Festival, even. Uh, the Flower Dance, even. I'll get there in the end, eventually. Hello, Lois. What are you doing here at Marnie's? I have to say, Juliet's impressed me. You've been a good influence on her, Mango. Okay. Cool. Sorry, Shane was there. You know, I worked with Jules for ages, but never really got to know her. Kind of now feel like I missed out. She seems pretty all right. She is pretty all right. It's locked. Okay. No, I've got a key to the town. That that's, that should be illegal, right? I definitely got the key to the town. That's the key. There it is. Key to the town. Rivia family secret. Oh yes. We've gotta go, um we've gotta go we've got to go to Cherry Orchard, haven't we? And give Vivian more gifts. Jasper, what did you think? I'd love to see Jasper's talent as well. Sorry, I'm a little tired today. Cameron dropped by and we were up all night. We were talking, of course. Well, mostly talking. Okay. What else were you doing? Hmm? Hmm? Come on, tell your old buddy Mango. Um can I, can I answer my phone, please? Apparently not. Oh, there we go. Didn't know you could drag it around. Hello, Mango. You will never guess what happened. He he ate the piece of pie I was saving. I know he baked it, but he promised. Oh. Yes, he, he's a child. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's, it's just what's going to happen occasionally. Just think yourself incredibly lucky when he he doesn't do it. You know? Oh my god, Quaid's following Eloise, that's so cute. <gasps> Jesse. Good afternoon, Mango. I'm pleased to see you. If you have time, would you mind popping in to talk to Juliet? She could do with a friendly face right now. Oh no, what's up? She received a letter this morning and has been pounding the drums ever since. I don't mind the noise, but I'm worried about her. Of course. She won't talk to you? She come with me, lovely. Although maybe Jesse doesn't want Jules to feel ganged up on. Also, like Jesse is older than Juliet, so maybe Jesse's like you know someone who's maybe the same age because apparently we're the same age. Juliet is covered in sweat and looks exhausted. Ah, Juliet removes her earplugs. Okay. Oh, it's you. Hello. Uh, who are you expecting? The Winter Star Elf. Is everything okay? How long have you been playing? I'm going to go straight in and ask if they're okay. No. No, it's not. Honey. Oh, my arms feel like rubber. Probably should have stopped ages ago. Doesn't help anything anyway. Doesn't change the fact that they're coming. Who? Your parents? My parents. Mummy and Daddy Donahue. Not that I'd ever let me call them that. Um, you just did. <laughs> They're not good people. Business folks. Profit before people. That kind of BS. And hell is work for them. Didn't work for me and Nate. 
money may not be able to buy happiness, but it can certainly buy a crap ton of tutors. When Nate died, they tossed me into the system like last night's trash. Now they're coming to see me. I doubt it's out of the goodness of their cold, wizened hearts. Oh, hon. Can you tell them not to come? Perhaps they're coming to apologize. Anything we can do to stop them coming? I won't let them hurt you. Ah, oh, this is an awkward one. I I do believe that if you have had difficult situations with anyone, including family, you should be entitled to cut them out of your life. It Life's too short to have to deal with people that hurt you, is basically the point. But they may be turning up to apologize. They may have recently gone to couples therapy, for example, and in couples therapy, they worked through their own trauma of losing their son, their heir, if you go back to what's most standard, um, you know, the male son and heir, and realized that in the loss of Nate, they ended up losing their, their second child too, Juliet, and maybe they're coming to apologize. It's, I can't remember if Juliet ever told us how old she was when Nate died. I don't think she was massively young, but I've never experienced the trauma of losing a child, but I can't imagine it's easy. Uh, anyone that I've known that's experienced it, it's not easy. And it normally destroys a relationship. So the fact that they were able to stay together, that's pretty good. But it could very well be they went to therapy and they've realized they threw away another child, basically. And that's awful. But it's human nature. We, have, we do what we do to cope with grief. It, grief is one of the worst experiences I think people can go through. And there aren't, there aren't many things that I forgive without an apology. But if somebody is grieving, I kind of do. A lot of the time. Mm. Mm. I'm going to be hopeful. Ha! Funniest thing I've heard all day. I'm rather confessed to starting the Gatora War. <sighs> Anywho, they won't be here for a few days, so going to try not to think about it. Maybe I'll get abducted by aliens or eaten by a bear or something first. Oh, babe. Right now, I need a shower. You want to hang out later? Throw fruit off at the cliff or something? Absolutely lovely. I would get invited, not because like I want to know the answer. I mean, I do. We're we're, we're playing. We're playing with mods for the story, right, guys? Um, or well, I am anyway. But you know, Jules is our friend, and I kind of would like Jules to have some comfort. Here, here, have a mango jelly. You really giving me this? How generous. You are welcome, lovely. Okay. Jacob, hello, how are you doing? Did you know that my darling loves morning cat post? She loves it. I did know that. What do you love though? Cranberries? I'm not a fan of cranberries. It has to be said. It's... Ugh. Thank you. I love it. I'm glad. Okay, and we've got to give the quackers something. Of course, of course. Because, you know, it's always grand when I get a phone call from them. Your gift meets the Empress' approval. Ah, lovely. The Emperor looks delighted. Oh, I, every time I see the Emperor's portrait, I, I fall in love. Every time. Right. This is the lady I wanted to come see. Hello. Have you ever been deeper into the mountains, Mango? I have. Have you? I used to traipse up there all the time. Oh, with your friend. Mmm. See? That indicates that maybe... Maybe Vivian was friends with Lilith. Lilith Sheridan? You know me in names. It's, it's always a challenge. Um, hmm. But then again, someone did point out in the comments that we had a scene where Vivian met Granny. And Granny said, oh, is that your name? As if Vivian had a new name. So, it could very well be that Rivian is Lilith. And I, I'm, I'm gutted that I forgot about that cutscene. I, I never remember where the new cherry orchard is. 
Come on, let's find it. Somewhere over here. Hello! Okay. Oh, yeah, I was like, I'll just put my auto grabber down. No, I won't. We should put an auto grabber down here because the, the, the berries, I mean, or the fruit from the trees. Oh, I should have gone up to Ridgeside and got those fruit trees. We'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, we'll get some more seeds. Um, nothing new in here. Okay, I will go. I did really like the talent show. Oh, yeah, I would love that as vanilla. I am very excited about 1.6. I I know it's not going to come with a big uh, content update, but you know I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few things because you know we we are we have been treated very well um, by Concern Day. But I know the upgrade is mainly about making it a lot easier for mod authors to support modding Stardew Valley and to continue to keep pumping life into this awesome game for many, many years to come. Especially whilst, you know, a certain someone's working on... Is it Haunted Chocolatier? I believe it's Haunted Chocolatier. So, I am excited. Well, I'm actually terrified about what mods are going to get sort of like lost um, and not work and all of those things. It's a little bit different when you are creating content for it because you're like, um, if I knew exactly when it was going to happen, I could make sure that, um, oh, you want basalt as well, that I pre-record. I, I pre-record some bits. I, I make sure that I have enough to cover the period of time where it takes certain, you know, some mod authors to either open source their projects because they don't have the time themselves to update it, update their projects to the new code um, source and whatnot. Now, a lot of mod authors are, have or have quite a good understanding of what's coming this time around. So I know that a lot of mod authors are preparing. But yeah, there, there's bound to be a few mods that I use because I use quite a lot of mods that have been around for ages that maybe aren't maintained in the same way that just won't get updated so i'm really nervous about it um so yeah there may be when it drops which we don't really know when but it's probably going to be soonish there may be an interruption to content because i have to wait for the mods to be updated it is the way it is let's drop off everything but I am very excited because I've got a feeling like A is going to create ways for uh, mod authors to do things that they haven't been able to do yet. Um, just because of the new sort of like, I think they're called API calls. I'm not a coder. Um, I don't fully know, but I believe that's what it is. Uh, let's go to processing. And that means that maybe we'll have like a whole bunch of good fun. Uh, let's grab... I'm going to have to grab stuff out here as well before we end the day. But first, we're going to grab row. But yeah, there may be, like, things that people, like, mod authors have been trying or wanting to do for, like, ages and haven't been able to. And, yeah, this is going to give them that ability. I do believe I've got some... Oh, wait, yeah, there we go. So I am very excited to see what that sort of brings out for us. But yeah, we'll, only time will tell, really. Uh, 310. Okay, right. Noah, we're going to need some serious help here. We've got a whole heap of road to sort. Okay, right. Uh, here for pause. Time. Anyway, I think I didn't quite finish my thought. Um, I do think that we will get a little bit of a content update as well. Um... I don't know what it will be. It's not going to be like Ginger Island. Uh, that was a huge update. And like free as well. I, I I said, I think, at the time that, honestly, I think it's time to... If you're going to do any like big content updates of that size going forward, I would personally be happy to pay DLC price. Like, honestly, we've had so much wonderful content for... The original price of the game like yeah i i don't know what do you guys think right let's um let's go here and pop these through 
I do think with this bus stop and the shed that we're sort of like currently making, I think I am going to catch up on the backlog of row. Or at the very least, I'll be able to keep up with the production of row once we finish putting in all our fish ponds. So, yeah, I think I don't need another shed for row. I do think now that I do want another shed for probably... Where was that? There we go, 135. Probably for wine, for kegs. I think one more shed for kegs at the very minimum would pretty grand. Okay, there we go. Let's drop off that and do some selling. So we're at 2 million. Uh, so we're at 3... 31,000 over 2 million. Let's see what we end up at the end. Not bad. 84,000. I think that's, what, 50? Uh, six, seven, eight. Yes. There we go. We'll unfreeze time and go, I guess, to bed. Really? Hello. I'm so sorry I didn't make it to the flower dance. Oh, I completely forgot to empty the Junimos. Let's do that now. Actually, it'll probably be easier if, um, A, I say hello to everyone and go downstairs. Hello, Pixie. Hello, Bella. Hello, Sam. Oh. Sterling's probably in the far corner. But there, I can drop it off um, rather than having to keep jumping backwards and forwards. So greenhouse one. There we go. One bit of corn and a whole bunch of stuff. Right, I'm going to do my chores and then we will... I don't know what we'll do for the day. I guess we're going to go mining. It's bad luck though. Oh, actually, we've kind of got up on milk. So I'm going to stop processing the milk into cheese for a bit. Um, yeah, I think that would be a good idea. But let's go and do all of our chores. Sell nine mayonnaise, grab these guys, and then, uh, yeah, I genuinely don't know. Maybe, maybe we could do another event. We could have a look at doing the trinkets. We need to get more crystallariums though. What I really want to do is, there is a something, is it in here? I forget what I need. Petrical heart, I think, is made in the whimsy key. Whimsy key? Whims? Whim? Whims machine? Whatever. Um, we need to put the fairy stones in a in there, so we're producing them. So we'll have to get that done. Okay, we've got a letter. Let's say hello. Found you some good quality stone. Maybe you could build with it or something. Thank you so much, George. That is so kind of you. I think we've got some harvesting to do. Yep, let's do that. Now, I don't think I can actually plant anything. Which is a real shame. But, hey-ho. Ah, yes, we did get a level up. This is brilliant. Uh, drop you off in the flowers. And then we'll just double check the almanac. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's done. I love how you can sort of like hang over these and you can sort of see their growth stages which is so nice such a nice touch okay right um let's let's go do something let's have a look at our events all right i've seen one i want to go check out so we're heading over there and then oh we're gonna come back and do the quarry but we're also going to do mining as well probably be quicker maybe i don't fully know to use Noah over here. Hello. Oh, and sign here. Here too. Sign here, sign here. The real McCaw. And just one more here. That's it. Nothing else needed. Thanks, Aisha. You're a gem. I didn't realize I'd run so low on Enrofloxitin until it was almost too late. Me as a vet should be able to pronounce that. That's okay. Always try to get yours and Harvey's urgent deliveries done first. I can always tell when the delivery is veterinary drugs. When it's a food package, all the pets in town follow me around. <laughs> oh, yes, they do do that, don't they? Oh, before I forget, I picked up some new cat treats the other day. Princess Midnight loves them. I'm sure your cats will too. Oh, oh thank you. It's very sweet of you. Ooh la la. <laughs> Thanks for that, Richie. 
Sorry about him, he's just excited to have a visitor. I must dash, I still have more deliveries to make. See you later, Jacob. <gasps> I like the two of them together. Thanks, Aisha, have a good day. I ship it. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> I kind of would love a McCall for that. And that alone. Ah, hello. Cross Stitcher. I have goods for you, at the very least. Pepper looks nervous. You give her a cuddle. Oh, Pepper. Did you know that my son hates kale? He finds it absolutely horrendous. Okay, what do you hate? Um... Oh, we've gifted you twice this week. Okay, I'm off then. All right, to the bus stop to grab our goods here. Get stuck on the rock as I always do. And then we will go to the quarry. And then I guess the the mines, I think that's probably the best place because more radioactive ore means more tappers. And that is kind of what I'm running short on at the moment is tappers. So or radioactive ore should I say actually never mind the radioactive ore I know what I need to be doing we have a quest um, for stone now one of the tricks you guys told me I think it was I'm gonna say AJ for stone is kind of always now it may be different with <laughs> this version of the mines but to get stone quickly you come to level one you do level one leave level one you reload level one and there you go you've got more stone to hit now i don't know if it's just because it's a small area so it's nice and easy or or what but we need how much stone quite a bit 700 i can't get my tractor out Yes, I need to be grabbing my bombs. Uh, tools. We've got 20 of those. We also have explosive ammo. But I'm sure, pretty sure that will only hit the walls, right? Um, we've also got just the small cherry bombs as well. Let's have a look. Get rid of that. We will also do that. Yeah, it only hits the walls, which is just not good enough. Let's see, how much have we got? We're nearly at halfway. And how long do we have for it? Four days. Okay. I mean, kind of boring, but it's doable. It'd be much easier on the tractor. But for some reason, it won't get summoned. I think I've lost it in the mines for the day. Oh, I'm sorry, crab. Getting pretty close, 783. It feels like you get sort of like between 60 and 100 stone on each um, level you do. So that's pretty good. How many more? Oh, it's going to be done soon. Maybe even in this level. Maybe not. But hey, I can hope. It would definitely be in the next level, though. Yeah, next level. Come on. Apparently, my prospect senses is tingling. Seriously? No? There we go. Aha. Alright, let's go. And check out our resource watch. 2,500. wonder if there's going to be anything else. Come on, Noah. I I went mining. I didn't get any ore. But I did. I got some copper. But I didn't get what I really should have been looking for. But hey, we completed that quest. And I think that's kind of important. <gasps> We've got a new thing. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Where is my crimson fish? Oh no, we have a dark sign. I need to go find my crimson fish. There it is. Right? No, that's not... No, this is... This is right. Not caught yet. I have caught it. 
I'm pretty sure it's a legendary fish, right? Let's go put it in. Find out. It is a it is 100 percent a legendary fish. So this is kind of like all of the ammo. Magma geodes. And again, we're supposed to get a hundred percent chance. I don't know. Like mm. Maybe we'll see it once we get a second fish come in. There may be some code that's a little bit broken. Because I've noticed with the other fish ponds, like, they won't produce with only one fish in the pond. So, maybe it requires a secondary fish. But we'll find out. And there we go. Seed maker, iridium sprinkler, and quality fertilizer. Very nice. Well, there we go, guys. I do hope you enjoyed even today's episode. If you did, don't forget to uh, leave me a like. It really does help out the channel. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see in a future episode. Um, I am curious still about Vivian. Massively so. And also, I really enjoyed Juliet's talent show. I thought that was awesome. But yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think. And thank you very much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that amazing stuff you guys do. And of course, a huge and very special thank you to my wonderful Patreons, whose names are scrolling across the screen as I speak. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.